Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at Super 7's new, for the adult collector, Masters of the Universe, Hordak, ruthless leader of the evil Horde, as seen on TV. Uh, Super 7 designed these, um, based around the vintage action figure line, but painted and sculpted more to resemble the Filmation uh, animated series. Uh, they also designed the uh, card back to look just like Mattel's vintage uh, card backs as well. Uh, there's just minor differences between the two card backs. Uh, barely noticeable unless you had them side by side. Uh, and instead of the Mattel symbol or logo, you have Super 7. As you can see, it's unpunched. I did order this along with He-Man, Skeletor, and She-Ra from Big Bad Toy Store. Go ahead and flip it around. We have an image of He-Man and She-Ra battling Hordak. Hordak uses his powerful shape-changing abilities to fight both He-Man and She-Ra. Super7.com Masters of the Universe 5.5 inch action figures, 13.97 centimeters. Collect them all, each sold separately. We have He Man, She Ra, Skeletor, Hordak, Hero, and Eldor. Twist his waist, and he swings back with a punch. Slide the blaster cannon over his arm to destroy enemies. Two pretty cool action features. Uh, I do plan on getting Hero and Eldor at some point and series two later this summer now let's go ahead and open up the package and take a look at hordak first things first you'll notice hordak comes in a half bag to kind of protect his legs i guess we'll go ahead and slip that off we'll stand him up back here we'll go over his articulation and everything here in a minute also comes with a baggie of weapons we'll take a look at that here in a second right now let's go ahead and take a look at this card back put aim this down a little bit there we go instead of a mini comic like the vintage action figures came with this came with a little card back as you can see their masters of the universe there's hordak right there uh, from toy to tune he man and the masters of the universe brought action and adventure into living rooms around the world and the fun continued with exciting Masters of the Universe action figures. In order to deliver the cartoon series on time, the toy designs were simplified for animation, so that the figures did not always match the characters children saw on TV until now. The characters of Shira, Princess of Power, were developed simultaneously for toys and animation. Hordak was a gray bat themed action figure with cape and accessories simplified to a blue sinister shape-shifting villain for the television screens as you can see there there's the original action figure which i had as a grown as a kid uh the original figure had a softer more rubbery uh head and that was the middle one is from the uh vintage toy line commercial and the one on the end is from the Filmation series. Very cool. Put that off to the side. We'll put that with He-Man, Skeletor, and She-Ra's card backs. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the weapons. We'll go ahead and open up this little plastic baggie. Uh, this Hordak did not come with a cape like the vintage Hordak did. Uh, but he did come with two weapons that did come with Hordak, kind of, uh, from the vintage line. He came with his crossbow. Uh, but the vintage Hordak did not come with his arm cannon. Instead, he came with a bracelet with a red bat attached to it. Uh, but here's his crossbow. And you bring it together just like that. It has two hooks right there that clip together and that 
will go onto his left hand. Just like that. And then he's got his arm cannon. Uh, his arm cannon goes onto his right hand. Uh, not sure which. Let me take a look here a minute. There we go. It goes over the top, just like that. So you can't see it from above or from looking straight at it, but if you look on the other side, you can see his hand. Now, as you may have noticed, let's go ahead and zoom in on Hordak. The paint job is incredible. I'm loving the paint job and the sculpts on these figures. Uh, as you can see, his arms and legs are blue with gray and black boots, uh, black bracers and armbands, as well as the black uh, little uh, bottom piece there. And I believe his um, little armor piece there is pretty close to the vintage figure, except it's got the gray around the edges um well let's go ahead and look right there there's the differences as you can see they did do more of a white paint job on his face they did do more of a white paint job on his face sorry about that guys i got a one of those spam phone calls on my phone that came up as i was talking um yeah, it just a lot more bright, vibrant colors. His little fin there, mohawk, whatever you want to call it, is blue. Uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. As you can see, his leg is a little loose. Um, this one, not as tight on the hinge as He-Man and Skeletor, so that's good. Uh, his waist, nice action feature there his arms go all the way around well close almost all the way around except his uh head kind of gets in the way there this other arm is the same way uh but i do think it goes all the way around actually uh, this one would probably go all the way around if it weren't for his arm cannon uh, his head can turn a little bit side to side and it does look like his armor is able to come off i wouldn't tempt it though because it does look like the uh brackets that hold it in place uh, could easily break if you try to take it apart or try to take it off uh, but yeah this leg is a little bit loose so i'm gonna have to be careful with that this is a part of my wife's action figure collection uh, i got this for her along with shira to go with her swift wind figure and to compare him to Shira. If I can get her to stand, there we go. Uh, pretty close in size. Um, I'm really liking this line. As I said, I do plan on getting Hero and Eldor along with Sirius 2. Uh, I really want to build up my collection, build my collection. I really want to build my collection back up of these figures. I'm, I'm really liking them. Brings back a lot of great memories from a, when I was a kid. I hope they uh, redo Cyclone. Cyclone was always my favorite of the Masters of the Universe figures line, uh, which is why I've got him from the 2000X series uh, toy line and none of the others. Even though I do plan on getting the 2000X line at some point, just haven't gotten around to it yet. But anyway, guys, there you have it from Super 7's vintage line of Masters of the Universe, e the Evil Hordak. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you tune in to another Comageddon toy review. Take care, geeks, and have a good one. 
If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.